What's up YouTube, my name is Zach Hartley and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are gonna talk about the stock market history, everything you need to know about how the stock market started, how it evolved, and where we're at today. And the content that you're about to see is from the first episode of my Stock Market Basics course. So if you ever wanna learn more about stock markets, how to trade on a daily basis, or how to manage a portfolio, please check out the links below. And if you get any value from this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Other than that, let's get right into the video. The history of the stock market is kind of cool. It actually started with ships and it started in Amsterdam in 1602. Back then, merchants were trying to send ships overseas to trade for goods and products and bring them back into Europe and sell them to make money. Now, what was kind of tricky about this business model back in the day is about 25% of the ships never made it back. So for a merchant to save up all of his money, send out a ship to go and do this and possibly not have it come back was a big risk. So what they did instead was, instead of sending out one ship, they'd send out five ships, but that cost much more money. So they would go out and they would raise money from the general population and from businesses. And in return for, for that upfront money, they would issue shares. Those shares looked like this. So this share here was issued by the Dutch East India Company. This was the first one that's actually ever been recorded and the oldest one we can find. And this was a share for anybody that invested to get a return of the profit from that ship. Now this was a great system and it really helped them expand and grow the amount of ships that they could send and receive. Eventually more and more businesses began to do this and soon it was common practice to raise money through issuing shares to start your business. This eventually led to lots of companies having shares and trading the shares. And it grew across Europe so much so that in London, there was a coffee house where people would meet every single week to trade their shares and exchange and meet up and talk about it. And after a couple of years, the traders that went there every week actually took over that coffee house and established it as the world's first stock exchange. That was in 1773. Fast forward a couple of years and this premise or this idea had expanded across the globe. In New York, they started Wall Street and uh, the New York Stock Exchange, which was located on Wall Street and that was in 1792. That was the first organic kind of stock trade market on, uh, on North American soil. So since then, there's also been a lot of different markets opening um, around the world, and those include the NASDAQ, which is an electronic exchange also based in New York. It's actually the second largest exchange in the world. Excuse me. There's also the Toronto Stock Exchange for Canadian companies in North America. There's the Japanese Stock Exchange, the Shanghai Stock Exchange, and the Hong Kong Stock Exchange, all in Europe. You have Euronext and the London Stock Exchange in Europe. Now the advantage here is that you now have stock exchanges on multiple continents around the globe which allow you to trade almost 24-7. So if you're up in the middle of the night and you want to make a trade, you can do it on the Asian stock exchanges Monday to Friday. Now it's great because it allows global markets to interact with each other and it also gives you liquidity and accessibility to the markets depending on where you are in the world. So it's pretty cool. We started with one single ship. We expanded that premise into multiple businesses and then and then opened a stock exchange at a coffee house in London and that expanded into what we now know as the different exchanges around the world. So pretty cool story. That was the quick version of 300 years, but um, I'm really a fan of it and I hope you enjoyed it. So on to the next lesson and I'll see you there.